The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Please become a David Pakman Show member. It's the number one funding source for this show. We are mostly funded by individual members. Please go to davidpakman.com slash membership to sign up, read about all the great member benefits. Over the weekend, I saw The Master uh, by Paul Thomas Anderson with Philip Seymour Hoffman, Joaquin Phoenix, Amy. Is it Amy Adams or Amy McAdams? Amy, Amy Adams, Rachel right? Is McAdams. Natan's mic even on? Amy I don't think Adams. we can hear Natan as usual. Yeah, I just corrected you. Thank, so it's Amy Adams. Yeah, Rachel McAdams is the one you were thinking of. Right, very good. So there's kind of like controversy, I guess, even though I don't really think there should be over whether it's really about Scientology and L. Ron Hubbard or not. Some of the actors, I've heard them playing coy. Like I think Amy Adams was asked whether it's about Scientology and she said they didn't tell us that it was or something like that, but it so is. And the movie's spectacular. Are you going to see this, Lewis? Uh, I want to. I'm a huge fan of uh, of the director. Right. Yeah. But so are you going to see it? Yeah, I'm going to at some point. Yeah. Okay, just checking. I'll see it. Okay. So in a sense, the movie is it's really more about Dianetics than Scientology, which eventually came to become Scientology. I, I may be mentioning some spoilers here. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, you may want to tune out. But I think I'm going to be careful about kind of what I say. There's so many similarities. So in the movie, they do processing, which is identical basically to the Scientology process of auditing, of, of uh, doing, the, it's, it's almost like a faux therapy type of thing. Um, there's images of Philip Seymour Hoffman doing the processing, which are identical to old images of L. Ron Hubbard doing the, pro the auditing with a person laying down and people standing around watching. Uh, they talk about the universe, the Earth is a trillion years old, and one of the Scientology tenets is the, the universe is way, way, way older than any science uh, believes it to be. Mm -hmm. um, there's a scene where a guy tries to kind of debunk Philip Seymour Hoffman's character while he's doing the processing, which may be representative of when Morris Fishbein tried to debunk L. Ron Hubbard's uh, uh, Dianetics, whatever it was. And in, in January of 51, the New Jersey Board of Medical Examiners started proceedings against L. Ron Hubbard's foundation for teaching medicine without a license. There's a scene in the movie where uh, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is arrested for uh, an unlicensed medical facility, teaching, whatever. So very, very similar. And then in the movie, at a certain point, Philip Seymour Hoffman moves the cause, as it's known in the movie, to England. And of course, in 59, L. Ron Hubbard moved to England and stayed there until the mid-60s. So very clear that that's what the movie's about. I know, Natan, you know about Scientologists actually tried to prevent the movie from even being made. Is that right? Well, at first it was just a rumor, but then uh, the producer of this movie came out uh, a couple weeks ago and said that, in fact, it, it was true that there were some high-profile Scientologists in Hollywood that tried to have the movie stopped. Right. Fortunately, that didn't work, not only because it's incredibly entertaining, but it does get people... I mean, for example, after I saw the movie, I went home and I read the Wikipedia, the entire Wikipedia on Scientology, and then a lot of the subtopics started Googling and researching those. So if people are aware of the connection, it should bring about a lot of awareness of the bizarre nature and, and even uh, 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 just, just the cult-like essence of Scientology. Be careful, Dave. You're going to become labeled a suppressive person. I know. I don't want to be labeled an SP. I guess 20% of people are not uh, uh, buy, they don't buy into the, the, the nature of Scientology. They are suppressive persons. But most of those 20% can be brought over to Scientology with the proper uh, procedures. Proper only, channels. Only a small percentage are actually destined to be suppressive persons indefinitely. They can't be cured, so to speak. That's good. So there you go. Hopefully yeah. I'm, not, I'm not in that group. 